On Plitzelight in her first season at West Virginia, 14-8 and eight in that first season, 360 wins to her name overall. Opening tip is won by Iowa State, and away we go. Iowa State in the sleek gray look tonight, and West Virginia in the breast cancer awareness, white tops with the pink accents. A look early on for Emily Ryan on the wing. Their leading assist getter. Emily Ryan, 16 assists when she played West Virginia last year. To go inside for Ashley Jones, and an offensive foul call. J.J. Quinterly takes the charge. So they're already thin without her. As you see, West Virginia starting five. A lineup had started all but the, but one time this year. And the only time this five did not start was when Madison Smith missed against TCU. Kyle Watson will try the three. Hemingway grabs it, and Hemingway with a putback. Kayla Hemingway leads this team and rebounds during Big 12 play, and she gets the Mount Theaters on the board early on. Ashley Jones with a drive. Looking outside, finds help. There's Jones knocking down a long two to tie this up. Well, you saw the starting five a minute ago for Iowa State. Nyamar Jew starting. They're only one and two with her in the starting lineup. Touch for Quinterly out front. Good step back from her. Strong from the heel. I don't know how Dew didn't step, or didn't, I don't know how Dew stayed in bounds there. On the other end, Lexi Donarski had a thousandth point of her career against West Virginia the last time these two schools played. West Virginia and Iowa State, even after one half the last time these two teams played, West Virginia held to just 13 points in the second half that game. As Jayla Hemingway, Jones working against Quinterly, step back, long three. Collision between Watson and Danae Fritz. And Fritz will pick up the foul. Comparison to see what this team does with and without Suarez. The first 12 games of the year with her, averaging almost 80 points a game. And since, her production has dropped off almost 10 points. As J.J. Quinterly connects under the basket on a nice gift from Jayla Hemingway. Ryan got way under the basket. Wide open look for three. Donarski, strong. Hemingway grabs the long rebound. Quinterly does not have numbers. Forces one off and she got it to fall. J.J. Quinterly creating off the dribble and the Mountaineers lead it by three. Turnover. West Virginia on a 6-0 run. And while we were away, the officials went to the monitor and took a look at the last play. They've overturned their call on the court, and West Virginia will have possession. This year includes Jesse Dickerson, Nakisha Thompson, and Maggie Timon. Winterly, nice find for Tavi Diggs and Diggs. And just one three so far. Jones looking inside. Denar not Denarski, Morgan Kane off the bench. A little short. This team also out-rebounded West Virginia last time they played, 51 to 31. With the West Virginia miss. <laughs> Iowa State breaks a long 8-0 run and pulls within three. Morgan Kane connects there. Bill Fennelly talked about Morgan Kane earlier today. He said they need a good 10 to 12 minutes from her today. Tabby Diggs picks up the foul. Diggs was first off the bench for West Virginia. Last game against Iowa State. There's a wide open look for Ashley Jones, and Jones does what she does best. Madison Smith looking for the answer. Quinterly left wing. And a steal out front, but a foul. Kyle Watson. So the Cyclones answered West Virginia's 8-0 run with a 5-0 run. And now a turnover. Quinterly back in transition to the rack. And Quinterly is West Virginia at 12-10 lead. West Virginia team leads the conference in turnover margin. That is what they do. On the Iowa State end. Dew 
drops the three. Naya Mardu, a little bit more of his bench tonight than we have seen in past games as this to tie the ball game. 14 fouls for Iowa State early on, and as I said, they do not have the depth to get into foul trouble. West Virginia leads on the second J.J. Quinterly freebie. That'll give Lexi Donarski a chance maybe to work on offense. Comes back out front and finds Fritz. In traffic, Danae Fritz offline. Rebound, Jayla Hemingway and Mountaineers want to turn it north quickly. Bates. Give to Hemingway out front, Blackston. She'll try the three from straight on, and, Kate, and Kylie Blackston drains it. Donarski, last time these two teams met, primarily guarded J.J. Quinterly. She lobs it in here to Ashley Jones. And Jones gets on the board again. Lob inside for West Virginia. Here's Hemingway to the bucket. Hemingway fouled. And Niamh Dew is going to pick up another one. A little bit more than usual than what they normally are used to. Lee grows to three on the Hemingway freebie. Drive for Ryan. Comes outside. Dew creating space. She traveled. Winterly tripped up, lost it in the lane, that tie-up. And Iowa State will have a shot with 3.9 to go in the first. And Fritz comes in to help Iowa State move the ball. Baseball pass brought down to Narski. Blocked by Danny Nichols. And West Virginia holds a three-point lead after one quarter of the pink game at the WVU Coliseum. Good crowd. West Virginia ball with the lead to start the second quarter. Both these teams shooting. 43% from the field in the first quarter. Hemingway under the basket, got in too deep. And Jones comes up with it for Iowa State. Looking for help, finds a cutter. Fritz coughs it up. J.J. Quinterly back the other way for West Virginia. They slip it to Kyle Watson. Wide open in the corner. Jayla Hemingway for three. Pulled off the iron from em by Emily Ryan. Iowa State holds on. A cut from Lexi Donarski. Back door wide open and she connects to pull Iowa State back within one. And to stop their opponent scores. Quinterly offline there. And it's out of bounds. Get a torn ACL for Suarez in the Oklahoma game right after that, fifth, that uh, 20 rebound double double against West Virginia. Kane keeps the possession alive. Long two for Ryan. Emily Ryan feeling it again. Iowa State back up top. Space for Hemingway. Stops. Back outside. Blaston from the corner. She's hit once from distance. And she hits a second time from beyond the arc. Coming into the the game tonight, Kylie Blackston had just six threes all season. She's got two tonight. And West Virginia back on top by a pair to tie. Ashley Jones does what Ashley Jones does best. 20 points a game on average leading the conference this season. Almost averaging a double-double at nine rebounds a game. Madison Smith will try from beyond the arc and Madison Smith with the team leading 52nd three. If both of these teams can get their shooters going, they could be in for some fireworks tonight. Head fake and a drive. Do stopped inside. Hemingway with a strip. Good defense, Jayla Hemingway. Mountaineers in transition. Blackston, a heat check. Offline. Watson with a great rebound for West Virginia. Five point edge on the Watson putback. Coach Dawn Plitza White said about her earlier today, she's good at finding the lapses. Areas on defense where no one else has picked up the gaps. Does it very quietly too. As Jones airballs the three, that'll get the home fans going. Hemingway knifes her way through, lost the ball. 
Donarski going back the other way with it. Euro stepped through and a foul. Iowa State, one of the country's best free throw shooting teams from the free throw line. Donarski, a 91% free throw shooter. That's what they do here at Iowa State. They shoot threes and they shoot well from the free throw line. Mountaineers by three as Quinterly drives and adds to that lead. We'll also see the first of Izzy Zingaro tonight for Iowa State. Bay picks up the foul. Known for her defense, Ryan the assist person. Suarez was the rebounder. Poised for a deep run. We'll see what they do without her. Hemingway from the free throw line. And Jayla Hemingway with seven points tonight. Quinterly with ten. Hemingway with seven. Ashley Jones with 11 for Iowa State. In traffic. Emily Ryan weaves away to the can. So we're telling you about this in the open. Quinterly now with double figures in 13 straight games. At 24 plus in three of those. Isis Bay connects from inside. Ten to shoot. Here's Jones. Open lane and she lays it in with the right hand. Good finish for Ashley Jones. These teams combined have hit a trio of threes each. Six threes in this ball game through one half of basketball. Got a rash of those in the last sequence. Good find. Isis Bay inside. How fitting is it that on Valentine's Eve, Isis Bay. Always got to make your Bay happy on Valentine's Day. And Isis makes this a five-point West Virginia lead. Donarski, floater in the lane, rattles that one home. Good sling from Smith to Hemingway, and she can't connect. Final minute of the first half. West Virginia has led much of the way. They're up by three, nearing the half. Wide open, there's Donarski. And that one did not get the friendly roll. Contact under the basket. And they threats hit pretty hard. One of the rare free throw shooters on this team below 80%. 76% shooter, so not too shabby. She knocks down both, and it's a one-point game. Contact away from the play, and Morgan Kane picks up the foul. Two for Iowa State this half. West Virginia already at the limit. And an offensive foul against Isis Bay. Over two minutes, nearing two and a half minutes. Mountaineers have the lead here. Iowa State will have the last say. Ryan to the can, and Ryan lays it in. Iowa State back on top, 35-34. Madison Smith, well strong. So despite leading for most of the first half of this ball game. West Virginia down one, Iowa State 35, West Virginia 34. Happy to have you with us for the second half. Uh, what should be a really good one, a barn burner in the first. Iowa State looking to grow their lead, they can't do it. Kaya Watson scooping it up for West Virginia, picking up where she left off. Smith cutting inside, misses with the mid-range. Arrow favors West Virginia, tie up from Kyle Watson. West Virginia team has forced at least 15 turnovers in all but one game this season. They forced 12 on Iowa State in the first half. And some of those run force shares by Iowa State. Quinterly again mid range. Quinterly bangs it home. Ryan steps into one, and Lexi, or Emily Ryan, gives Iowa State the 38-36 lead. 25 threes for her this season. Off the pick from Blackston. Quinterly dishes. Watson. Splash. Kyle Watson knocks down a three. 21 for her this year. Iowa State saw a lot of lead changes last week against Baylor. We're seeing them here tonight. The 
drive from Fritz. And another lead change. Iowa State back on top. Tend to shoot for Madison Smith and the Mountaineers. Watson will try again. In and out. Quinterly crashes the glass and J.J. Quinterly with a strong finish. Weaves through Hemingway. Contacted a foul. Aubrey plays for Oklahoma. She's the second of the five in the family. In so many categories. Games, rebounds, field goals, free throws. She misses the second. So the game st- stays tied at 41. As Jones misses the back half. 82% shooter on the season. Contact between Watson and Jones. And Ashley Jones, I'm told the specialty is the pork tenderloin. If you're ever in Iowa City, give it a shot. Hemingway, West Virginia leads it, and Kylie Blackston down after some contact in the paint. Not the Patrick Mahomes ankle you hear about at nauseum tomorrow, but still a concern for West Virginia, a pretty big one at that. And Iowa State ties it on Emily Ryan's hook shot in the lane. Space for Hemingway. Nice slip inside. Watson to finish. West Virginia leads. Skip pass. Donarski. Ten to shoot. Dew will launch. And Nyamar Dew won a six from the field for Iowa State. Quinterly like lightning to the cup. And she'll go to the line. You learned about her at the half. Watson with seven points. And she'll take a seat on the bench. Danny Nichols back on for West Virginia. Donarski with a catch. Gives it up. Long baseline two. Ryan can't hit. Hemingway pushing tempo. Wide open left wing. Nichols gives it up. A dump inside and a foul. That's Morgan Kane into the back of Isis Bay. Two fouls on Kane. Iowa State at the limit this quarter. Averaging seven minutes a game. Offline with a second. And you saw Kylie Blackston trying to get some traction on that ankle. That's why we're seeing extended play from Bay in this one. Bay picks up the foul, trying to swat Morgan Kane, replaces the UNLV transfer. And not as good last year. They've been perfect from the line 27 times under Finley. The best was 14 to 14 against West Virginia back in 2021. And Naya Mardu, also with three for Bill Finley's Cyclones. This has stayed within five this entire quarter. Iowa State looking for their first field goal in nearly three minutes. They're over the last four. Inside two to play in the third. Entry lob. Fritz caught it deep but worked around it. That's the lead in half. Hemingway for three. Strong. One hand rebound by Emily Ryan. Very athletic play off the back leg. Slings it to Fritz. Inside. Batted loose. Diggs got a hand on it. Smith leads the charge the other way. And her pass tipped out of bounds. Just under eight points a game. Gets it in the paint. Nice hook from her. Madison Smith hoists one. A teardrop for Madison Smith. She's got seven tonight. And West Virginia grows the lead to four with one to play in the third quarter. Emily Ryan offline. West Virginia with a chance to get some breathing room on this touch. Iowa State. They'll pick up a foul, and that's going to be Lexi Donarski, and that is four. (laughs) 
30 seconds left here in the third quarter. Iowa State had the halftime lead despite West Virginia leading much of the first half. To the cup, Fritz fouled. 10 of 11 from the free throw line. That's the definition of the announcer jinx. My apologies, Iowa State fans. Shot clock's off. West Virginia looking to cash in with a five-point lead late in the quarter. Bates gives it up. Better look for Danny Nichols and Danny Nichols slices the net at the buzzer. West Virginia looking for a second win in the conference season against a ranked team. Or the fourth quarter, rather, from Morgantown as West Virginia out for their biggest lead of the game at eight. On a three from Danny Nichols, whistles away from the play. Kyle Watson picks up the foul. Madison Smith for West Virginia picks up her second foul. Empty possession though for Iowa State, so West Virginia's lead stays at eight. Nice pick from Isis Bay, space for Smith. Bumped out of bounds. On Naya Mardu. So Du is on the floor along with Lexi Darnarski. They both have four fouls. 8.05 to play. Quinterly off the back leg. Du's not been as effective on offense as she was last Saturday. Darnarski for three. In and out. Ripped down. Kyle Watson. The bucket has gone over the lid for Iowa State this half. Inside seven and a half. Quinterly, bump from behind, she'll go to the line. 18 for Quinterly. A tip out won by Iowa State. Mountaineers, 5 of 21 from beyond the arc. Quint- or Hemingway, 0 of 7. The two shots coming on the foul. Smith picks it up for West Virginia. That's her third. Ashley Jones on the bench. Trying to get some rest for her before this final stretch. Isis Bay seen a lot of play tonight with Kylie Blackston out with a banged up ankle. And Isis Bay to the line. Jones scoring below her season average. Jones, a player that likes to draw contact when she has the ball in her hands. We'll see if they go to her. Travel from Emily Ryan. The team was shooting around. Assistant coach Jason Jeske providing the scouting report. Hemingway doesn't hit, and she's grabbing her left ankle on the baseline. Jayla Hemingway in some pain. They're short. Maggie Espen Miller McGraw. She's away from the team for personal reasons. Nichols will shoot the free throws for Hemingway. We've not seen her back in. 13-point edge for West Virginia after the pair of freebies from Danny Nichols. Biggest spread of the ball game for the Mountaineers. West Virginia's lost three straight for the last six and a grab from Madison Smith. Foul number four on her. Now West Virginia banged up in this one as well. Blackston and Hemingway, two starters, having ankle issues tonight. Less than 10, Quinterly stopped up. Watson from the free throw line. Out of the basket, Ashley Jones grabs it. Coming back the other way, Ryan a kick. Wide up a three, Donarski. And Donarski's not had to touch this half. Tipped out, and it stays with Iowa State. Iowa State's got to start hitting in a hurry. Naya Mardu. That's a good start. Bay with seven points and a rebound tonight. Fouled as Ashley Jones. Bay can at least in the scoring drought, and she does. 
Double figures again for West Virginia with 3 on 3 to play. West Virginia's got Madison Smith with 4. Delayed by the 18 of J.J. Quinterly. Jones makes it 16 for her and brings Iowa State back within single digits. Lots of timeouts left both sides. West Virginia 4, Iowa State 3. Quinterly trying to create space. Fouled with 146 left. That's a number... That's a fifth on Naya Mardu. The Bronx cheer as she sits down. Mountaineers are 17 of 21 from the line tonight. 18 of 22 makes it a 10 point game. And 13 straight and double figures for Quinterly and Kaya Watson. Four on Madison Smith and now three on Kaya Watson. Ashley Jones likes to initiate the contact, likes to draw you into the contact. Over a miss from her from the line. Hand off from Bay to Quinterly. They double her up. Watson across the timeline. A reach foul. Make it 11. Iowa State's lost back-to-back games. The road doesn't get easier for them. Texas and Bain are their next two up. Down 11 here. Coming up on the final minute. Bobbled. Ryan can't hang on. Donarski gives it up. Ryan for three in and out. A lot of contact between Jones and Isis Bay. Grit out of Ashley Jones. Quinterly out of the basket. There's Danny Nichols for the finish. 71-58. Mountaineers by a baker's dozen. Less than a minute to play. They got to get to the hall in a hurry. Fritz short. Rebound Kyle Watson. They can Fowler. Bates. Quinterly will bring it back outside. Crowd will come to their feet at the Coliseum. It does not look like Iowa State will be fouling West Virginia. Bill Finley denied another chance at win number 750 in his career. Watson rejected by Danae Fritz. That's her fourth. And Iowa State. No, they call that on Ashley Jones. Ashley Jones is done. Chance at a double-double for Kaya Watson. 15-point edge for West Virginia. Watson will head off the floor. Hugs on that West Virginia sideline on pink night. The Mountaineers get a win against ranked Iowa State. Frustration continues for Donarski. Hunter the rebound. She's fouled. Donarski will take a seat. A premature end for Lexi Donarski. Five on her. West Virginia stays home Wednesday. They'll host Kansas. And then a trip to Texas next Sunday. Hunter misses both. Only thing in doubt is the exact final score. of last second bucket from Emily Ryan will make this a 73-60 win for West Virginia. And a second-ranked win for Dawn Quitzawhite.